Summit of the Economic Community of West African States takes place under the chairmanship of Nigeria. We're of course talking about EcoWars, the regional superpower. We're talking about Nigeria here and advocate of a hard line against the coup. Now, the EcoWars bloc gave Niger's military rulers until last Sunday to reinstate President Mohamed Bazoum or face potential use of force. But the coup leaders have remained defiant. They have not abided by the ultimatums and the ultimatum date has, of course, passed without any action being taken. Now, on Tuesday, a bid to send a joint team of EcoWars, UN and African Union representatives, all three, to the capital Niamey was rejected by the coup leaders as well. ECOWAS and the West African Monetary and Economic Union have imposed some of the most stringent sanctions on Niger since the coup. With immediate effect, the bloc has suspended all commercial transactions with Niger. ECOWAS has frozen Niger's state assets in the regional central bank. The bloc has frozen assets of the state and state enterprises in commercial banks and suspended all financial assistance with regional development banks. Now, the financial sanctions could lead to a default on Niger's debt repayments. A planned $51 million bond issuance by Niger in the West African regional debt market was cancelled by the regional central bank following the imposition of sanctions. Niger had planned to raise $834 million from the regional debt market in 2023. Now, the ECOWAS sanctions also mean that Nigeria... It's cut power supply to the country on the 80 megawatt Burnin, Burnin Kebi line. Ivory Coast has suspended imports and exports of Nigerian goods. The coup has put focus on Niger's uranium resources. Niger is the world's seventh biggest producer of uranium, according to the World Nuclear Association. Niger has Africa's highest grade uranium ores. The country produced over 2,000 metric tons of uranium in 2022, about 5% of world mining output, according to the World Nuclear Association. Now, the radioactive metal is the most widely used fuel for nuclear energy. We're talking about uranium here, and that is what makes Niger so important for the West as well. It is also used in treating cancer, for naval propulsion, and in nuclear weapons, which will now, will EcoWars and Western allies target Niger's uranium? After the coup, the drums of war are growing louder and so is the opposition to restoring the government by force. All eyes are now on the next steps which will be taken by EcoWars and what happens next in Niger. Of course, here at Beyond, we will be tracking all the developments for you.